Hey guys, it's Toby from Top Crypto. Just wanted to go through my season rewards on my main account. Oh, I got to gold again. I've pretty much I haven't bought any cards lately, so gold's where I've been aiming. I probably could afford to upgrade some of my cards, but anyhow, I'm just gonna go through and see what we get. I got 22 loot chests from the last season. If you're new to my channel, my name's Toby. It's Top Crypto. I share a lot of content based around Splinterlands because the game is amazing and I see it as a great investment. If you're into NFT technology, Splinterlands gives you NFTs that you can play within the video game. It's a card based game where each card has certain strategies attributed to them and these cards are deflationary in nature so they uh, get you know you can level up your cards by combining say 100 cards into one card and then it becomes a very powerful card and then that also takes a lot of the nfts off the marketplace so there's less of them for sale the more unique the the abilities of the card generally the more valuable they become because they have greater utility rather than it just being a nice picture of something like an ape or something like that these nfts actually have use and can earn you cryptocurrency within the splinter lanes blockchain play to earn game so here we go guys oh that's a great card i love that card good card oh double venari bonesmith nice five cards from the first row that's a good start Six cards, seven cards. Oh, yes! Gold Pelicor Conjurer. So you get gold cards as well, which are even more rare than the standard cards. So they have more value. That is so far so good. Oh, Twilight Basilisk is another car. So the, the NFTs you earn have rarities. So there's common, rares, epics, and legendaries as well. So legendary ones are obviously incredibly rare and good to earn. Oh, a pack. So that's a pack of Chaos Legion cards, which is valued at four US dollars at the moment. So this has been very successful. These, oh, 96 DEC. Oh, that's good. So that's that's pretty good. It's almost a, a dollar there. Venari Crystal Smith is another really good card. Um, and then Alchemy Potion. So pretty good, if you ask me. Just want to try and get this in one shot. Do that. Can you scroll up? Yeah. Alright. Not bad. So I'm going to take a snip of that and that can go on my Twitter account. Now, someone asked me to open the pack last time I did. Earn, I got two packs out of a daily quest. So today. I'm gonna do that for your guys' benefit. Let's see, we open a pack. Okay, so we open one Chaos Legion pack and see if I get anything good out of that. And that will be the full daily quest revealed. I do like to keep the packs, but I'll do it for today. I'll open it. Maybe we get a legendary card. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, but we'll see. Alright, so summoner. Probably the worst summoner. 10 year striker. Oh, three rares. Nice. Four rares. That's pretty good. So, there you go, guys. That's my end of season rewards. Probably 15. $15 worth of cards I think there so not too bad for playing a game if you like anything that you've seen here please hit the like button 
if you want to see more Splinterlands content or crypto related content please subscribe to my channel I'm trying to post at least one video a week other than that thanks for watching guys this is Toby from Top Crypto and I'm out